So I'm working at a hospital and I get on an elevator with two Caribbean ladies. As I hop on, I say, hey, folks, how's it going? I was then proceeded to get a at least the length of the elevator ride, which couldn't have been more than 45 seconds, but it felt like 45 years. But an entire lesson on how white people did this and the word folks is so uh, triggering and everything else like that by these two ladies. And by the time I was done, I just couldn't give less of a shit. I was just trying to be nice. I'm like, I'm like, yo, I, I, has it ever happened to you where you're just, you say something that's rather innocuous, but it gets taken to levels and extremes that no one wanted it to go. I was just trying to be cordial. <laughs> like, well, now this has something for you. And if you're unfamiliar with now this, I mean, it's like we're back in 2016 because this has been one of, I guess, the less bigger, um, you know, propaganda tools. So let's go into what this wide mouth young lady has to say. Hey guys, welcome back to Now This. <laughs> guys is a simple term. It could mean boys, or if you're modern, hip, it means people. I exactly. So why is there another four minutes and 27 seconds left of this video? First glance, guys seems inviting, friendly, maybe warm, even comedic at times. But it, like many male default terms, should not be normalized as an all-encompassing phrase. Innocent. Why? Like, why not? If it's if it's linguistically expedient, then it should be. As it may seem. While we may understand the word means no real harm, with a deeper look, you'll understand and words can do no actual harm like yeah, like oh well with this deeper look and us spending the next four minutes talking about how this is sweetheart we got bigger fish to fry you have bigger problems than what some person decides to address groups as yet you got this you know who she reminds me of she reminds me of the not famous chick from set it off um <laughs> The fourth cast member that nobody remembers. You remember Queen Latifah? You remember Eric, uh, not, uh, 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 Vivica Fox and Jada, uh, Pinkett. But yeah, there was a fourth one. I think her name in the movie was TT and she had the son. She looks so much, she looks like a young version of her. But by the way, love and a natural love. Understand that we've been ignoring the cognitive impact on women as well as gender non conforming folks. Okay, so um, the cognitive impact on women, like women use the term guys as well, because it is an all encompassing term. It's a unisex because you want to sit here talk about, oh, yeah, gender non conforming. I gave you, that's on you. If you don't want to conform to whatever is between your damn legs. Hey, I'm not knocking you, but don't expect the rest of the world and society to turn around on your dime. Not happening. By only explicitly addressing the male identifying individuals present. The meaning of... But you yourself said it's an all-encompassing -encom term. Like, you really did just murder your entire argument in the first few moments. Because you know, it's there's nothing, no harm is meant by it. And once again, words cannot harm you. And once again, she got a really wide mouth, you know? Is she a 35 percent of... Like... I want to say, yeah, there's a like, part of me is like, yo, she cute, nah, but she got like that, that wide ass mouth, man. <laughs> we all have to knock 10 points off of that. She's a 25 percenter. Eyes has changed over time. According to the Washington Post, etymologists believe it began in the 17th century with a guy named Guy Fox, a participant in the failed 1605 gunpowder plot. He only barely escaped a brutal execution by jumping off a scaffold and breaking his neck. For the next few he, so he escaped the execution and broke his neck. I mean, okay, that's uh, pretty rough. But what the hell does that have to do with what's taking place in 2019, particularly in America or like in Western society? Entries, those who likened him in fashion, appearance or intellect were referred to as guys. Eventually, according to the Boston Globe, the term broadened to describe creepy people, then to a generic term for men, and now, some would say, a gender-neutral phrase. For decades... God dang it. Wow. 
decades, we have set a standard of only addressing the men in the room. Of course. Yeah, because it's usually men in the room. Because women, when they get in the room, they make stupid ass videos talking about how the term guy should be. See, that, like that's the thing. It, it's such a terrible position to be in, particularly as men, is because we want to listen to women. You say we 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 say it all the time, like you know, like yo, like it, it, you got a problem, bring it up, we'll address it. But then when you start talking about your problems, it's always nonsensical shit that don't really help anybody or doesn't really move anything forward, except for how it makes you feel. And unfortunately, your feelings could like your your feelings count for damn near nothing. We claim it's colloquial, but with our elevated knowledge and inclusive perspective. It just seems lazy, inconsiderate, and a small part of what reinforces the gender hierarchy today. And this is why I say gender is nonsense that's just put here to fuck this up. Because the deal is, is that, no, uh, you're like, oh, the gender hierarchy and all this other stuff. Ugh, golly, the world was here before you were born, darling. Plain and simple. The, we've been, uh, the, the as a species, we've been around and we've been... I mean, by all technical means, fairly getting along rather well um, over the past uh, few generations. And so you're like, oh, well, now we need to go all the way back. So when this guy broke his neck in a, in a uh, like a <laughs> escaping um, uh, hanging and, you know, like and because of all of this, we now have to change the, t the terminologies that we use throughout society. Lady, sit your ass down. How is one to feel empowered to speak or assert themselves when upon greeting they're misgendered or even ignored in language? They're not ignored, but that's the thing. Well, Paul, okay, so you see that, right? They're ignored, but you weren't ignored. Because guess what? Hey, guys, you're addressing everybody in the damn room. It's a, it's a way in which to not ignore everyone. And yet here you are like, oh, well, you know, we have to stop using these terms. It's just like, come on, man. Come on. Can we be surprised that for decades, women often felt uncomfortable asserting their voice when we didn't even take the time to properly acknowledge them? No, like, that's the thing. When you assert your voice, you say stupid shit like this. And thusly, it's like, yo, you, you should get laughed out the damn room. Like, this is the difference between the male and the female brain. This makes no sense. She is just complaining for the sake of complaining. That's it. And so sometimes, most times, it's just like, okay, like, unless you are her man or her guy, ignore that shit because there's, there's no good that can come of it. Engaging in such, um, in such rhetoric with, you know, the, with the, with the gynocentric mind, with the female mind, there's literally nowhere that it can go. Because think about it, when you, when you have a disagreement, disagreements lead to arguments, arguments then lead to, you know what I'm saying, like aggression, and aggression then leads to physical violence amongst men. Ladies, you're not on the same level as y'all because, you know, you make children. So, <laughs> you're not on, a, we're, we are not, on, we're not equal in that capacity at all. There is no, literally no win. If you are not, you know, either the father or the husband, there's no win in, in arguing with a female. There really isn't because there is no next level that you could take it to that isn't that's that's socially acceptable. If you want to talk about so, social norms and the like, so like oh well, we want women to speak up. Hey, lady, what you gotta say? Something stupid? Oh, okay. Well, sit your ass back down then. These linguistic tendencies were developed and reinforced in eras where women were barely meant to be seen and certainly not heard. Please note, you're not a bad feminist. If you know what's funny is that without those errors, you don't get the chance to sit, uh, sit up here and tell us how bad those errors were. Without those errors, 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 without those errors that you speak of, there is no, if those women didn't appreciate and, and fall into their role as mother and nurturers and stuff like that, then... You wouldn't be around right now to hop on and tell how everybody how saying the term guys is an issue or ugh, I hate the word problematic. You're comfortable with using the phrase guys. There are larger issues that we, the feminists, need to combat. Reproduct and this is why feminism is terrible. This is not helpful at all. 
And when it comes to reproductive rights, I believe in individual rights. So thusly, sweetheart, don't take that cream pop. You know, like, yo, use use five rubbers. Do, go anal if you have to. Plain and simple, it's up to you. It's your choice. But what feminism is and what intersectionality is and um, all of these other identity-based ideologies um, do is that they're like, oh, well, if you look at it from this angle, from this perspective, oh, well, you know, you, we can make ourselves victims. And so thusly, we can like we have a we have a legitimate gripe, but as you can hear, there is no legitimate gripe to be had. Active rights, rape culture, violence against women, LGBTQ rights, and the general. Re what about the boys that get raped? Oh, sorry, forcibly entered. Oh, I'm not getting monitored. This shit, like it is what it is. I could just like you know keep doing what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, th th there is no. Um, what about the 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 violence against people? I, I like to think violence against anyone, particularly that unprovoked, is bullshit. It's nonsense, and you shouldn't do it. Use your words. You know, like that's <laughs> that's a common theme on this channel. Use your words. You don't have to use you know violent means in order to get your point across. But you know, when you you also got to take into account where the words are coming from, and this one's coming from this bird brain. And I don't mean to be mean or pejorative or anything else like that, but as you can see, I do not respect this argument at all. The programming of most people's minds when it comes to the valuation of women in society. But when you stop valuing the personhood and visibility of individuals, you make it easy. Oh no, are these two guys shaking hands in front of a woman? Oh. And then it's like a black guy and a white guy just shaking hands in front of a chick. It, it, this is so funny. He's like, the white guy's probably like, hey, brother, yeah, you smashing that? Good job, my dude. <laughs> my God. Okay. She got the glasses thing on, so you know you're getting that smart nookie right there, my my man. <laughs> yo, now this, how do you do this? How do you do it nowadays? How do you sit here and like, yo, this is like a a, a a racial equality commercial dead on my face. This is bro love right here. And they both got hat and both of their hats is backwards. Oh my God. <laughs> yo, this is amazing. To dehumanize them on a macro scale, minimizing his, her, it's, their right to respect and equality. I you know what? Respect yourself first. How about that? How, like, I mean, like, how about you just, like, your self-respect should override anything that anyone else has for you. You know, like, if you don't, like, I'm, I've always been the type, you don't like me, cool, that's you, you miss out. You know, like, I'm pretty awesome. Um, but it, but it is, it has always been on me. To carry myself with a t uh, with a certain level of uh, self respect, thusly others respect it, and I feel like that's prudent upon everyone. You can't sit there and want society to bend to your whims and say, "Oh my goodness, well you know, don't use these terms." When in all reality, yeah, particularly when someone is being friendly, when someone is being you know saying like nice, you don't sit there and then turn around and accuse them of. You know, like being uh what's the name? Being uh of, of of trying to degrade or trying to harm. That's the problem with this entire mentality is that it takes it takes what's good natured. It's ta it takes what's good, what what's friendly, what's trying to make laugh and bring a and, and a little jovility. It's like when I went into that elevator. I'm trying to be nice, but you sit there and take my niceness and you run all over the all over the world with it with your microtransgressions or microaggressions. Stop it. I'm not offended per se if someone lumps me in with the guys. I'm sure there's really no malintent. In fact, if you and your friends want to freely address each other, that's the thing. If you know that there's no there's no ill intent, then offense is given, it's taken, it's not given. That's on you. That's one of the reasons I have such a huge problem with uh, HR departments and you know this uh, standard, the standard that they have in um, in working environments where it does where your intent doesn't matter. It, the only thing that matters is how you made the is how that person felt, how that person felt. Ain't in my control.
Okay. Mother, by all means. I just want you to know that you're one small step away from making a more conscious effort to dismantle the patriarchy. Yeah, the stupid shit. Dismantle the patriarchy. Young lady, here's the deal. We could take Urkel. You guys remember Urkel, right? He was he wasn't strong. He wasn't tough. But if Urkel turned into Stefan all of a sudden, and not just Stefan, Stefan with a splash of Ike Turner, there would literally be nothing that you could do within the confines of the space between you. You know, like if you are if, if you're in like and that's because testosterone is far more powerful, you know, saying at, on the, at the physical stuff, which has basically created the entire world that you that you enjoy, that you live in. I think my biggest problem with these things is that it's a matter of disrespecting the history and not appreciating what came before you and making demands that honestly, when upon further, um, you know, critical thought are just asinine, you know, like you can't dictate language. It's, this is some authoritarian shit that honestly can, mm -mm, nah. Don't believe me? Try walking into a room full of cisgender heterosexual men and triumphantly announce, hey gals, okay. So be disrespectful. Like, like that's the thing. That's because you know there's a bunch of dudes when I will have you. And you know you also had to say um, heterosexual men because y'all got tons of uh, gay dudes that be in the same spaces as well. And you know more than likely if there is a single gay guy in that room, he can be like, hey girl. And the guy will be like, I, okay, cool. You know, it's just not thorough. <laughs> like, it's just not thorough. Girls, thanks, sis. I'm sure within 10 minutes, if not seconds, at least one person will correct you. Yeah, because uh, you're wrong. That's the thing. You cannot address men as women. And honestly, I mean, you know, she might be on to something. Like, maybe, like, yo, you, but that's the thing. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, men will always be addressed because they are the, like, that's the thing. When you, back in the day, before you were born, darling, they used to, like, when you went up to a house, is the man of the house available? Can I speak to the man of the house? Because he was the authority figure. He was the, he was the one that was guiding the ship. Because that's what, the, that's our responsibility as men. If you are of the religious persuasion, you know that Adam was the one that was given the ordinance not to eat the apple. Not Eve. No, Eve, do whatever the fuck you want, girl. Because, like, yo, you, you, you're you going to be making the people. So we'll give you a, a pass on damn near everything. Plus, you got the vagina. And the vagina's pretty awesome. So Adam was like, yo, and, and but that's the thing. Due to that persuasion... He ended up biting the apple. Like, oh yeah, she she could she could talk him out of God's out of God's commands. Isn't that crazy? So yeah. <laughs> and another thing, like her mouth. That, that, I'm telling you, her mouth is super wide, man. Like, there's something weird about that. We should all be as protective of our gender identities as a cisgender heterosexual man. So basically a man. So, I mean, she's talking about me right now, just in case you're, because she ain't, she's not putting race on it or anything else like that. So she's talking about me. And honestly, I could care less by all means, be as secure. But when it comes to like in a group, like, uh, um, like, okay, let's say you're at a, at a concert or you're at a, or you're just doing comedy or something like that. Hey guys, what's going up? What's going on? That's just, it's, it's the way it rolls off. We address the men first. That we that you shall that you should, because they're the ones that are given the ordinances. We're the ones that are told what to do by you know the creator, as opposed to our ladies who are supposed to you know make kids and shut the fuck up. So, like, and I don't mean to be so you know chauvinistic about it, but it just it like after all of this, guys, it's built up. Deal is is that. Sweetie, like we want to take you seriously, but then you then you open your mouth, right? Like, I mean, as a man, trust me, I would love to take every complaint and every issue that you have seriously, but then I listen to you, and it's like, mm, this what does this do? What does this help? Who does this help? What does this move forward? 
other than just this crazy ass gender agenda. You know, the alphabet people move. Once again, I'm going to refer back to the meme that I saw where they was like, yeah, um, you know, straight, uh, uh like, uh, uh, alphabet people rely on straight people to make alphabet people. And <laughs> the meme was like, mm. so yeah, th- this is, uh, insanity. We deserve it. So what can you do? Substitute one. Hey guys with a symbol. Good morning, everyone. Hi. No. Hey, y'all folks. No. Oh, we just talked about folks. You can't say folks because Caribbean people will trip on you. Everybody, scholars, team if you're at work, campers if you're in the forest, bay hive because it's always appropriate. Oh my god. Really? Really? Like, it, like this is just so damn depressing. Like, cause I mean, by all technical means, I can't carbon date this broad, but she is quote unquote black. And this is the nonsense that like, this is a part of that poison that I've been talking about for the longest time. Like where, you know, urban America is just, there's this mindset. It's this really terrible, awful mindset of, yeah, we equals, everybody's equal, 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 equal. And I can't help but feel like equality is that false idol. You know what I'm saying? Is the false is the false prophecy because there's no such thing. <laughs> My goodness. You can also just find ways to insert people's names and address everyone present. And when in But that's hella work. Like, yo, why are you always suggesting some shit I gotta do? Like, <laughs> like Oh, yeah, okay, so what's your name, John? And that's the thing. I am I'm a gentleman. I am very cordial. I'm very outgoing. So when I do enter like spaces, I tend to uh, along along the way, I will naturally catch everybody's name, information. If she's a cute chick, I'll definitely find out what she's been doing for the past five years of her life. But when it comes to hey everybody oh, hey dr nick you know you you could do a, a dr nick there's nothing wrong with that but trying to just completely ostracize guys is ridiculous and authoritarian stop telling people what to do and how to live their lives this is just the worst oh these are all things that you can do no nigga, this shit you can do in your life enjoy have fun over here we just going like yo if you don't mean anything by it if you if, like if you don't mean anything by it then it shouldn't be it should be taken with a uh, with a grain of salt, you know. Jesus, let let's, let people live, man. Out, say nothing at all. Hey, works. I challenge you. Does it? Golly, somebody Caucasian wrote this fucking script. I can guarantee that. I, it, it feels like a, a, a like one of those cracked videos with the um one very uh very soy uh, guy in them who would sit there and just lecture uh he was like this really tiny guy that wore glasses but yeah this feels like a cracked script i challenge you to take an extra 5.6 seconds. okay good, let's go to take an extra 0.5 seconds to think about what comes out of your mouth before you say it or what or what like that feels like a threat son <laughs> like, that really does feel like a threat like oh what 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 I could, I, could, I could destroy you what are you talking about Somewhere along the way, hey, you may slip a guy out or two, but thank you in advance for trying. You can say that all of this is silly or too PC, but there are always larger societal implications of language. No, no, no. It's you really need to get a baby put in you and like, you know, like just distracted. Like, that's the thing. That's why we, this is why these chicks really need babies. Because they need to be distracted with something. Because all this, oh, the grand society. Sweetheart, it's not your space. It's not your play. All right? Jesus. You want to sit here and talk about dumb shit. And I'm sitting here doing a video about her dumb shit. Because people are, it's, it's the internet. The way we use it and weaponize it. Face it. The things we do and say matter. So if you do nothing else, repeat after me. I am powerful. I am Arn Man. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So I think this video is long enough. 
Jesus. Oh, this was terrible. This, like, now, this is, yeah, yeah, this is some authoritarian, like, oh, yes, you should talk like this. You should speak like this. Bruh, you want, we could chop it up however you need to chop it up. Let's just get something done. Let's be, um, let's have an objective. This has no other objective other than, the, other than the spread nonsense. And that's why hey, I did a video on it. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like. Dislike, go ahead. Do that too. I ain't scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and want to give videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring and YouTube bit you to mean. Let's be real. We're sitting at about, uh, we're, we're almost at 250 right now, which is a good, which is great. Fantastic. Like, yo, all, each and every one of you, I appreciate you to no end. And, and keep sharing, keep hooking, hooking a brother up because, dang, ah, ah, this, this, this nonsense has, this, this nonsense just cannot be, cannot continue to be the norm, all right? <laughs> now, like, they're trying to make the abnormal the normal, and eh, we're, we're just not high with that, I right? <laughs> And speak. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Uh, it's like, it, 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 what, what what percentage would you give her? Do you think she's uh, all that attractive? I'm not really feeling it at all. I do like the hair, though. Like, weirdly enough, her hair is fantastic. But it's that mouth, man. Like, it's like everything except for the damn mouth is, like, really throwing me off. But, I mean, <laughs> how chauvinist of me, right? Um, <laughs> but also, you know, so if you got any thoughts on that, I'd like to hear them. As well as, you know, like, well, how do you, how do you announce to groups because I mean, i'm just like yo what up i was going people like it really does depend on the moment it's such a spontaneous thing particularly running across like you know groups like that like i don't know but either ways let me know what you think in the comments and until the next one